after marriage. We're glad you found us. If this is your first time, welcome. And if it's not, yo, we, we want to just say welcome back. This is a place where two millennial parents. That's right, us. us uh, give you practical tips on marriage, family, parenting in today's fast-paced society. That's right. So we just want to say welcome. And we're glad you can join us on this life after marriage. So today on this episode, what we want to talk to you about is dun, dun, da, 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 da. that's right. You might have guessed it. The big day wedding time. And um, we wanted just to share with you guys. We're actually right here right now at the, uh, at the Hellwig Winery. This that's is right. a place where we got married six years ago. This year will be actually our seventh year. Um, of being married. That's right. And so we're here kind of just going back and recounting. And there's so many memories yeah. that as we walk here, we're like living back. And it's kind of cool just to come back and to bring our son, which by the way, he's on like, he's like right over there messing <laughs> oh, around with the, the, and the dirt <laughs> anyways. But um, man, and our little one, the other one's asleep. So we got to take advantage of this time. But you know, we're excited just to allow you guys to come and join us on this day um, here. Um, and we wanted to talk about wedding time. And so in that, um, we want to just share with you three practical ways uh, that, that has helped us. And as we look back, we're like, wow, maybe there's things that we did good and maybe things that we grow for, uh, grew through that can help you not make the same mistakes we did, right? Exactly. So I think the first one, and I would love my wife to start. The first one yeah. would be which one? Premarital counseling. That's right. <laughs> premarital counseling. It's so important to get premarital for your wedding day right. it's gonna set you for a marriage that will give you kind of like a reality yeah yeah a reality check That's, of what's to expect what's right. to come and, right right yeah. And so it's so important. I can't stress how important. Now, we just had one session, and I would highly recommend to have more than one sessions with a pastor, somebody that you feel comfortable with to share each other's story, but that doesn't know you too well to the point that, you know, you might feel judged or looked down upon. So the first thing is premarital counseling, and it's so important to share each other's stories. This is the moment where you share something really deep, and, and you pretty much lay it at the table and say, hey, this is who I am. And one of the things for me that was tough is to lay down some of the past that I had gone through for my wife to figure out, hey, I'm not, I want to start life with you together on the right direction. And so if I could say something is premarital counseling, there's so many other things that can be helpful in terms of when it comes to premarital counseling. But yeah, just the fact that you guys coming together, opening up and being an open book for each other and sharing each other's stories and also um, just kind of sharing each other where, how you guys were raised in childhood memories and how that can definitely carry on uh, to marriage. And so number two, you want to say number two? Tip number two. Tip number two. Has to deal with the money. Money, money, money. <laughs> Set your budget. Yes. It is so important to have a budget when you're planning your wedding. That's because right. Because that's going to open up all the doors and close all the doors right. that don't need to be open. With a budget, you can look for your venues. You can plan for how much you can spend on a wedding dress. Those can get pricey, by the way. Um, but it can just help lay the foundation That's of right. what you're That's wedding right. yes. and what you're going to expect for your wedding day because it's going to be a special day and i know you're going to want everything possible in your wedding day yes. but you don't want to spend all your money all your savings on just one day right. you have a lifetime to spend with your partner so our biggest tip number two, number two. has to deal with money That's set your budget That's right. yes, Bobby? And so okay. what I want to just say, and like my wife just uh, uh, highlighted, and I just want to highlight as well, is if you don't budget, you're going to go broke. And I'm just going to keep it real. If you don't budget, you're going to go broke. And so, like she said, make sure you uh, come together. Make sure you have an idea of what you want to budget in that and work through that budget alongside. So if you don't budget, you go what? Broke. You go broke, all right? And the last tip, and I think we were thinking there's so many things we can learn from each other when it comes to wedding days. And, and don't get me wrong, we are no experts, but we just wanted to share with you a couple of tips for those maybe planning on getting married, for those that are about to get married, or for those that have been married. Hey, man, hey, we could all, you know, share with each other. But the last room would be what? Three is enjoy your day. Yes. Enjoy it. Enjoy it to the max. Because I know things are going to go wrong. Things are never perfect in a that's wedding. That's right. That's right. In our wedding, we had so many things go wrong. <laughs> so many things. But um, 
just learn to enjoy That's your right. day. Yes. Have family be part of your wedding yes. day. If you can have family not really be involved in what you're doing on the wedding day, it's right. going to help so much because then it eases the pressure off of them, off of you. Yes. And um, and another. Would yeah, and so be. that's a big one. That's a big one. And the other thing, and the other thing is what she meant by that is not like is not you know for us it was like yeah. having family in the kitchen cooking the food and you know i know we i love, love you, my Mom. i love, love grandma you. she by the way she's helping us record this <laughs> on a chair on top of it so we're just getting crazy uh technical i wish you could see her she's like okay but uh she was just wanting to be a part of it i know her love and desire is to see that her that day come to life and that's okay that's okay but just be careful to balance it balance it to the point that it's not overwhelming to the point it's like, oh my gosh, I is stressing about the food and not forgetting about the moment and that, that moment. And so that would I say, yeah. so enjoy the day. The other thing that we didn't enjoy and, and we want to make why sure we and, and why we didn't much. enjoy it is that we didn't plan right, right after the wedding, right we here, booked, yeah. we literally booked our flight to leave at, to midnight. Leave at midnight, which Horrible by the way, we didn't make our honeymoon, <laughs> like we didn't make it to our honeymoon. We and lost and we lost our flight and we had to literally rush from here after eating and we didn't even eat much no, we didn't eat. eat you know there was a show there's a lot of family talking and then after that we rushed to the airport uh by the way my brother again coming through clutch rushed to the airport and we didn't get there in time and so we lost our flight and crazy enough our next day literally we didn't want to come back to the wedding day because how embarrassing would that be right <laughs> And so our next day, where do we pass it? Where do we, where we? We spent it at the Homewood Suites here in Sacramento. There you go. And we pretty much spent our first day being married, canceling everything, everything. from our honeymoon. <laughs> and yes. then calling my dad up and being like, Dad, can you come pick us up? We're in Sacramento. And he's like, sure, I'll pick you up once all the guests are gone. And yeah, and so then we spent our second day of being married planning our second yes, honeymoon, yes, yes. which was amazing, by it was, the way. It was, we went to Playa del Carmen, yes. Mexico. Yes, had fun. By the way, Beautiful. check it out. If yes. you want to go, there's Iscare, <laughs> Shelha, all of that fun adventure. The video's not being sponsored and by them, no, but, no, no, but it was it was, fun It's time. fun and on a budget, too. On yes, a budget. On a budget. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, through all of this, we just want to share this. Um, we want you guys, like I said again, number three, just recapping, number one is... What was number one? I forgot. No, number one is budget. No, no, no. No, no, no. Number one, number one was is premarital counseling. Premarital counseling. Number, number two, two is budget. budget. And number three is enjoy the enjoy. day. And there's so many others. would love to hear from you on the comments below. Yes. What's something you, maybe you're married already, and what's something you can give to another family or another uh, person that's about to get married, a tip. And, um, <laughs> and just letting you know, man, whatever it is you've gone through, just share with each other your experience. What are you coming to? and excited to see you on this new adventure with us thank you so much again and don't forget one little thing i don't forget about our wedding is on that day the world cup was going on <laughs> and i don't forget it was the 29th of june 2014. 2014 and crazy enough guess who was playing mexico against netherlands <laughs> and many of you guys know on that day it was not a sweet day to get married on just because um, Mexico. Mexico was supposed to win that game supposed and to. they were called on this hand that wasn't a hand and they gave the other team a penalty and because of that Mexico lost and you could imagine no fue penal no fue penal no fue it penal wasn't. and at the end of the day crazy we had all her family there with us at the house and guess how they felt coming right after this to the wedding crazy but anyways that was just a little fun fact any last words um, if you like this And hit the bell, hit the bell, bell to, to know notified. when you get notified. And don't forget, every Monday is what? Marriage Monday Monday. Marriage. Marriage, marriage Monday. Marriage Monday. <laughs> there you go. God bless. Take care and have a great day. See ya. See ya. Peace.